This is interview with, uh, with uh, Mrs. Dagmar Tsaganova. Uh, what is your perception of smart city in uh, one sentence? Okay, if we speak about smart city, we really can imagine various definitions, but I can say that favorite my, my favorite one is smart city is technologically driven and interconnected city. And of course, it should be city with smart people. Thank you. Uh, what kind of initiatives uh, could you recommend to support smart city awareness? Okay, uh, how to increase awareness about smart city? For example, it is possible to organize various events like workshop. I can mention collaboration with the Ministry of Education and with Ministry of Economy of the Slovak Republic as well as a Slovak Innovation Agency with whom we closely collaborate and prepared presentations, lectures about smart city to increase awareness. So this can be one possibility. Of course, as far as uh, universities, it could be possible to implement smart city topic into syllabus. For example, I try to do it with sub within subject international relationships and diversity. And of course, for example, in relationship and following projects, I can mention that two years ago we have organized within V4 scheme the project Festival of Science as a platform for intensifying collaboration among V4 universities. And in my opinion, it is possible also to put the focus on smart energy. So it can be really rather thematic. And as far as initiatives, for example, we can also support young people by organizing the best student project and involve such criteria into project evaluation that smart city criteria will be involved in this. And this can be really helpful, in my opinion. And finally, I think that to foster talent and skills for innovation as the fourth industrial revolution requires multidisciplinary knowledge, knowledge-based skills. It means entrepreneurial, soft skills, soft skills like innovation, as well as social skills. And uh, what is your message from this event? What could be message? Uh, I can say that I am happy that within the presidency of Slovakia, within the Council of European Union, has this opportunity to organize such event as is re-industrialization in European Union. And I really appreciate that we have opportunity to meet our colleagues, friends, also new people and to establish new collaborations and on the basis on, of this to continue in preparing new projects. And I also appreciate matchmaking activities that we had a chance to meet colleagues from other institutions and to discuss and to confirm some possible steps how to continue our international collaboration. So I think this is rather beneficial and I'm really thankful for that. Thank you so much.